Number 83, ethylene, which is C2H2, a byproduct from the fractional distillation of petroleum, is fourth among the 50 chemical compounds produced commercially in the largest quantities. About 80% of synthetic ethanol is manufactured from ethylene by its reaction with water in the presence of a suitable catalyst. And then they give us this reaction right here. So it's C2H4 gas plus H2O gas yields uh, ethanol, which is C2H5OH liquid. Using the data in the table in Appendix G, calculate delta H for the reaction. Now before we start, I just want to point out that there was a, a little typo here. Ethylene is not C2H4. Two, it is C2H4. Uh, acetylene is C2H2. So this should have just been a four. So maybe I'll turn this into a fancy four. Wow, look at that. Look at that fancy four. If I just like stroke, stroke this down a little bit. There you go. So yeah, so this is ethylene. Okay, so we just have to find the delta H. We got this, right? I'm just gonna rewrite this, C2H4 which is a gas, plus H2O, which is a gas, yields C2H5OH, and that's a liquid. Now, I already went to Appendix G and wrote down all of the values that I see in uh, this example, okay? So they just wanted you to go back in the, in the textbook to find out these values. They're looking for a delta H, so we only care about the delta H values. So for C2H4, it was 52.4. For H2O, it's a negative 241.82. And then for the C2H5OH, it's a negative 277.6. Now, if we're trying to find the delta H of an overall reaction, we know this formula, right? It's this one, products minus reactants. So I just need to get one number for the reactants and one number for the products and then just subtract them. So first off, I don't see any uh, coefficients here, right? So just pause just to see, is this balanced? But I'm looking through it and I see that it is balanced. So don't worry on that. So now the next thing is, remember, we like to take these values that we found at the back of the chapter and we multiply them by how many we have in the balanced equation. But since all of them are one, that just means that we're gonna just, we're just, gonna just multiply every one of these numbers by one. I just wanna kinda show you just in theory so you can you know, do the proper steps for a harder one. And then, since it's C2H4 plus H2O, literally there's a plus sign here, I have to add these two together. Since there's only one compound here, I don't have to add them together. So let's see what we get. Negative 241.82 plus 52.4. I get a negative 189.42. And then on this side, this is just the same number, right? Negative 277.6. So now we're ready. Delta H for the whole reaction is the product value, which is negative 277.6 minus the reactant value, which is negative 189.42. And we got our answer. They just wanted the delta H of the reaction. You got it. Negative 277.6 minus our answer. So I get negative 88.18. And the units, if we're using the tables, is kilojoules per mole for a delta H value. And you're done. How easy was that, guys? Pretty easy. Okie dokie. All right, so thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out tremendously. And I thank you so much for that. All right, see you in future lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.